Good morning, it's Friday. This is William, 7CityFitness.com. Got two topics for you to kind of listen to today. One's pretty funny. Uh, it's not too serious at all. It's about game console systems. Uh, the interactive players, the Wii consoles, the the Kinect systems and things like that compared to the regular Playstations and the ones you kind of just play a controller with and you kind of game. I'm not a big gamer, okay? I'd rather be outside messing around getting hurt uh, than being in front of TV. I just don't have that long of attention span. That's why I move so much. Um, but in, in this case, this, this study was, was showing the effects and on that as far as the injuries go on the players, okay? Interactive games, obviously people are getting hurt more playing the interactive games. So playing the the Wii Golf, the Wii Tennis, the Wii Bowling, the Kinect, the canoeing, and all these things that you're moving around, people are getting hurt, okay? And it's funny because the ages range from like like one year to like 86 years old. And I'm like, dude, if you're 86 and you're rocking out Wii Fit or whatever you're playing, keep it up, just be careful. Um, but they were saying that people are getting hurt now. And, and what's so funny about it is they actually had a statistic for the bystanders. Um, yes, the people who are sitting there like, Oh yeah, man, go, dude, play good, man, you're awesome. Yeah, those guys, they're actually getting hurt almost just as much as the people who are actually playing. Um, why that made top news when it comes to health and fitness news, I have no clue, but I thought it was hilarious. Be safe, be careful. Uh, maybe you should stick to the Mario Brothers on the regular Nintendo. Maybe stay away from the swinging and the batting and all that stuff that those gaming consoles come with. Um, it's just... To me, that's just hilarious. Uh, and like I said, I'm not a big gamer, so it's kind of hard for me to be like, oh, I know exactly what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. So you gamers out there, be careful. Stretch your thumbs out a little bit. Take a break. Go outside, breathe. Come back, play some more. You know, just give yourself some intervals, okay? Um, second thing was actually the relationship between doctors and overweight slash obese people. Um, it was pretty, pretty disturbing in my eyes when it comes to the relationship between those two. They're saying that doctors are kind of giving up on speaking to these people who are coming into them looking for back pain or knee pain or shoulder pain, whatever their problem may be, but they come in also overweight or obese. The doctors aren't saying anything about it. They're just kind of saying, okay, neck pain, check, okay, this good, you know, here's your, your medicine, see there, but that's all they're doing. They're not saying, hey, what are you doing for your weight? You know, I understand that your knees hurt, I understand that your lower back hurts. Like, why are you 150 pounds overweight? You know, what can we do to kind of change that? Maybe that's going to alleviate some of the neck pain or the back pain or the knee pain that you have. Um, they're not doing that. And it's, it kind of makes me mad because, like, you're promoting health. And doc, don't get me wrong, doctors are wonderful. If it weren't for them, a lot of the things that we have going on now would not be able to be cured. You guys are amazing. Keep doing your hard work. But when it comes to the obesity in America, we have got to step our game up. Um, the, article, the article actually talked about how Americans are getting fatter. You know, that's been kind of going on for a while. Uh, but it's true. And they're actually, there's a range of 25 to 29% body fat that they're saying that's overweight. And then 30 and above is obese. Um, they're actually, that's changing now. They're raising that to fit America and how big we're getting and how overweight that we're letting ourselves get. So they're they're changing their standards. Okay, well, everyone's bigger now, so let's just make the numbers bigger, you know? And it's just, it's crazy because the standard, what is now a healthy standard that we have, we're gonna lose that. You know, within five, six, 10 years, that's gonna be gone, you know? And 30% body fat's gonna be healthy or it's gonna be at least overweight, not obese anymore. You know, and it's just, it's just crazy. I, I just can't believe that they're just letting this kind of stuff happen. Another thing is why the doctors weren't talking to the patients, they actually had reasons for it. One being that they don't have enough time. And obviously that scratched the itch for me because every time I go to the doctors, they kind of get you in, get you out. They're not really worrying about anything else besides your diagnosis. I understand they got tons of patients to see, but they're always in a hurry. you know. And that to them, you saying or them bringing up the fact that, hey, you're overweight, let's try to you know, talk about that. It's just another topic. They don't want to go into it. They don't want to spend the time doing it. Um, that's rough. I mean, it's just, you got to focus on that, you know? And the second thing was, was that they, they look at the people who are coming in being overweight, being obese, and they kind of have a bad attitude towards them. They're kind of like, hey, these guys are already big. They're, they're already you know, not eating right. They're already not doing what they should be doing. So they're not going to listen to me. Yeah, I'm a doctor, but they're not going to listen to me. You know? and, that's, and that's wrong because further in the study, it was saying that there's a, a rather large percentage of people who are overweight who go in and see their doctor. And their doctor actually says something about their weight. 
and they actually go home and they actually try to change their life. Um, so it does work. It's not all about just, you know, oh, it's not going to listen to me. He's, he's got bad habits anyways. I'm not even going to try to change it. I'll send someone else. Just say something, you know. If you know somebody, it's better to say something and maybe get your feelings hurt, maybe get their feelings hurt. Um, but just to say something, just to you know, show that you care about somebody and say, hey, this is your health. This is your life. I want you to live as long as you can. I want you to see my kids grow up. I want you to see your kids grow up. It's these important things that we're like losing sight of in America that is just, it's really just killing us, you know. So that's the news. Didn't want to make it so, so sad or anything, but that's what I got. Stay tuned next week for more. If you want to find more information about me, you can go to 7 Find me on Twitter, WillFit, or you can find me on Facebook. See you.